Finally, the British government has repealed all of the unpopular taxes except the tax on tea. But now there's a new problem. One of the largest companies in England, the East India Company, is losing money because so many American colonists are refusing to buy tea from Britain. Parliament wants to help the company, so they decide to make a new law, and they call it the Tea Act in 1773. Now this law says that the East India Company is the only company allowed to sell tea to the colonies. This law will allow the company to sell tea for less. However, the colonists still resist the tax on tea. Not only that, but the company gets to decide which shopkeepers in America are allowed to sell it. The colonists are furious that Parliament is giving one company complete control over the tea trade. The shop owners are angry because the government's going to control the tea, and they also get to decide who gets to sell it. And the tea is still getting taxed. Three pence per pound still. The Sons and Daughters of Liberty are enraged. When the first East India Company ships arrive in Boston Harbor, Sam Adams, John Hancock, and Paul Revere try to get the governor to send the three ships back to England. The governor refuses to do that, and he orders that the ships need to be unloaded. The Sons of Liberty set out guards to make sure it is not. On December 16, 1773, there's a huge meeting at the Old South Church. Over 8,000 people come to listen to Sam Adams speak. He really fires up the crowd, and he dares the colonists to do something to prevent the cargo of tea from being unloaded. People start to whisper, Boston Harbor, a tea party tonight, and they keep spreading the word all over the colony. Boston Harbor, a teapot tonight. You know that there is going to be trouble, so you decide, do you join your friends in the action, or do you think staying away from trouble tonight is probably your better option?